Hey guys, so I wanted to do a Zaffle haul, whatever it's called. I have recently just bought a bunch of bikinis from Zaffle and before I went and bought them, I jumped on YouTube and I watched a couple of girls do a Zaffle haul and I found it super helpful because then I knew what bikinis would suit me, what bikinis wouldn't, what's the sizing like and are there any good? You know, Zaffle is known for being super super cheap um i reckon in total i've probably spent under 200 dollars and i've got about eight bikinis so it's really good value for money um i'm just going to go through each bikini try it on let you guys see how it sits on my body my body shape is i'm usually a size 10 um a double d to an e in my chest. I know a lot of the girls that I saw doing a Zaffle try on were quite slim, um, which is great, but for those who are a little bit thicker like me, we need to know what looks good and what doesn't. So, let's get into it. So, this is the first bikini. Um, I got this because it was $8. <laughs> it sits so well around here. Um, you'll see from the back, all the bikinis that I get, um, I really like high-waisted um, with a slight G-string kind of Brazilian butt, whatever you call it, um, because the high-waisted just makes my legs look, chopping off my head, but it makes them look just a little bit longer. All mine are mediums, by the way. I'm definitely a medium. Um, small, I would have no chance. Um, yeah, so this is a medium one like this. Um, and as you can see, I really like the high-waisted and the, what do you call this, Brazilian butt. This is really cool detailing as well, um, which I really like. I like the strapless bikini. Um, they all come with padding in them, but I take them all out because then you have weird little round shaped things on your boobs which we don't need. So this one, I am a massive fan of and I highly, highly recommend. So this is bikini number two. Um, I really like this one. I got it because of the coloring. I really like the yellow and the white. Um, again, it's a Brazilian kind of cut bikini. I think it's actually meant to be a half bum bikini, but the problem with those styles and my body is that my butt is too big and it simply just eats the bikini so i either need full coverage or a g-string i can't do in between because in between just does not work i'll just wear it like it's a um brazilian butt and i'll wear it quite high up here again to make my legs look a little bit longer this top is really super tight um i think that a large would suit me better in this top but um you know you can only buy small medium and large so if you are smaller than a 12 double d then this top will probably fit you but if you are larger around your waist your back your chest then you might need to go for a large it's made of a quite thick material as well so there's no chance of it going see-through i really really like this one i think that this is great quality and um yeah really good material for the price i think this cost me like 15 dollars so I definitely recommend this one. So we have bikini number three. Um, this is a very different one to what I would usually buy. This bikini again was like $12 or $15 or something. Um, it had padding in here, but I took it out. Ideally, I probably should have gone a large in this bikini, um, but this is, this is okay. This is okay for, you know, going to the beach or sitting by the pool. I probably wouldn't, do anything active in this go paddle boarding or go for you know walk along the beach or something this is the clip it does up at the back here you can adjust these straps which i haven't done yet so probably need to play around with them a little bit the bottoms however are probably not ever going to see the light of day i think they're meant to be full butt cover but again because my butt's so big it doesn't usually get covered. If you like full coverage on your butt, then these are be you know these are great for you. Personally, I don't like them. I have luckily I have another bikini in this color that I can wear the bottoms, which have a style which suits me a lot better. This is my favorite. 
Um, who doesn't like yellow polka dots? Um, this one, yeah, big favorite of mine. It, um, this knot does undo, so you can adjust how you thought I was gonna flash it in. Uh, you can adjust how um, tight it is around your boobs. Um, and again, it's got the, the um, Brazilian butt. There is a seam around the front of the bottoms of this bikini. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. It kind of looks like it's inside out, but it's not. Um, and it's only really noticeable if you're kind of someone staring at your JJ. Someone staring at your JJ. it's all good. Um, Quality again, this feels like a $200 bikini. It's thick, it has padding in the top, um, it's secure. Um, I have worn this to the beach and washed it and it's turned out fine. For what you get for your money is just unbelievable. Um, totally worth every single dollar, even if you wear these bikinis a handful of times. Who cares? So, this one doesn't really fit. It's very very small um yeah let me just make sure my nip hasn't fallen out before i show you okay so um i loved this one because it was ripped um so it wasn't completely smooth and my cat's about to walk in front of the camera stay there um, and I love the color of it. This baby blue is so beautiful, but what I did not realize before I got it was the fact that this tying up thing is purely just a piece of material around the bikini. It is not what I thought it was, um, which was I thought it was an adjustable pulley thing. And I thought, well, even if it's a little bit small, I could pull it across and cover some more boobs. So. This is extraordinarily tiny. I probably won't wear this in public. Um, this is maybe a sit in the backyard and <laughs> tan a large percentage of my boobs bikini. So if you have boobs bigger than a D, I would definitely go for a large in this style of bikini. Um, it's got a <laughs> bloody crazy cat. So the butt is also one of those ones that should sit like this. I think it's meant to be high-waisted. That's probably where I would wear it. Again, I don't think it's meant to be a G-string style bikini, but that's probably where I would wear it. And um, yeah, the boobs, I mean, look, it's, it's <laughs> not leaving much to the imagination. So like I said, if you are any bigger than a D, definitely, definitely, definitely go for a large in this style of bikini. Okay, so we have bikini number, I've actually lost track where we're up to. I really like this bikini. It's the bottom style that I like and it's the top style that I like. It um, did have padding in it, but I took it out. There's a nice um, detailing at the back where you can do it up to be a little bit tighter. And the bottoms, again, are that high G-string um, shape that really quite, I well, I think it suits me and it suits my body shape. Um, this one I think was on sale for like $10 or something. I got it because I really wanted the top, but the bottoms I quite like because they look quite leopard skinny. I am a big fan of this one. All right, we're coming close to the end. Um, and here we have a smoky patterned um, bikini, exactly the same shape and size as the other ones. It feels comfy. I've left the padding in this one because it's white and I'm not quite sure how that's going to look once I go for a swim. But quality and feel, it feels really soft and high quality. So I really like this one. And the reason I bought this one, honestly, is because it was five bucks. And I'm like, fuck it. Bikini for five dollars. Let's go. So you would have noticed a theme with the type, um, type, type or style of bikini that I like. Um, this is a little bit different. The reason I went for this one is because it is tie up at the front so I can control how much of my boobs are covered and how much they're not. 
I've left the padding in there only because white bikinis are notorious for going see-through and if I'm going to be honest I think this one probably would go completely see-through without those two round paddings in there. The bottom style is very similar to that polka dot bikini that I showed you earlier. High waisted, it's got that weird seam up the front but aside from that, it um, sits pretty well. Anyway, I'm a big fan of this one. White is always a winner for me because I go super tan. However, um, I don't know if this would be good if you took the padding out, it would probably go a little bit see-through. But then again, for $12, who cares, right? That, I think, is the end of my Zaffle haul. <laughs> Okay guys, so that brings me to the end of my Zaffle haul. I just wanted to show you quickly how they come in the post. So each bikini comes in its individual bag. It's waterproof plastic. Um, each bikini that I got had their tags on it and the waterproof um, protection over the um, knickers part. It, they were all brand new. None of them were worn. Not that I think anyone would return $12 bikinis. But um, as for quality and is it worth it? Are they pieces of shit? Totally worth it, not pieces of shit. And this is an unpaid, unsponsored YouTube video. This is purely just me giving my advice because I am a beach goer, I'm a bikini lover, and I think it is absolutely extortionate how some people are charging over $100 for a single bikini. Um, it is totally unreasonable to expect people to pay that. And now Zaful has come in and they're offering quality products at a decent price. And I, I highly recommend it. Not paid, not sponsored, nothing. I just genuinely think their bikinis are, are awesome. And if they don't fit you, then who cares? It costs you $12. Give it to someone else who it does fit. So that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed my Zaffle haul. Please comment below. Tell me if I did this right or not. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm purely just a rookie at this. But I thought that some other... Chicks out there would appreciate um, some feedback and some honest opinions on bikinis before they go and spend their hard earned money. Also, before I forget, it took under two weeks for them to get here. I know last summer a lot of girls were complaining that it was taking months for their bikinis to arrive. Well, it took two weeks. I did two different orders and it took two weeks for both of them to get here. So, highly recommend. Um, I hope you are enjoying this beautiful day wherever you are in the world and I'm so grateful that you have spent the time to watch this video and please subscribe, leave a five star review, <laughs> do whatever you're meant to do on YouTube and I will chat to you soon. Bye.